Hello, it's Alex from FCAD Gaming again, and you're watching the fifth installment of my Let's Play Factorio series. Uh, this is going to mostly be combat, um, since it did take a considerable effort to clear out this nest that you're looking at to the right. Um, I don't have very much of the tech tree unlocked in the ways of weaponry, so basically I am going to be fighting these guys with grenades and armor piercing rounds, which I end up running out of, and yeah. So, um, sit back and enjoy that. Um, I did play probably about 20 or 30 minutes off screen, just setting up a little bit more extensive of a defense network. Um, as you can see, that uh, bunker there is new. I have another bunker set up. Uh, closer to my copper mine and a bunker set up uh, closer to my research facilities. Now, uh, those by far aren't going to be foolproof, but uh, they are a huge improvement over what I had. My original plan was to start doing uh, oil production in this episode, but the biters kept attacking me every like two minutes and I would have to go kill them and repair everything and it yeah it, it turned into a big ordeal so I decided to beef up my security and try to wipe this uh, nest out which took me a couple tries as you can see so uh, yeah for people that aren't too experienced uh, taking out biter camps uh, which I'm not an expert by any means, but the things that work for me, um, grenades definitely, especially early on in the game, uh, are great for taking out uh, groups of biters like these. Uh, they'll take out probably six or seven of them at a time. Now, when you actually get close enough to the uh, biter camp to start taking it out, the armor piercing rounds work extremely well for taking those down. Um, they also work very well once you start getting into medium and large biters, um, killing those guys pretty quickly. And uh, yeah, they're just generally a good thing to have in your personal weapon. For turrets, you don't need them as much. I mean, they do help, but uh, but yeah, they're definitely almost a must-have for taking out nests. Um, as you notice, I'm actually not using them uh, these first couple of times around just because I didn't have too many of them produced. Um, but I figured I'd do as much as I could with, with the standard rounds and then uh, go stock back up on armor piercing rounds and uh, finish them off, basically. So, uh, as I was saying, what you want to keep in mind is you want to kind of funnel them. Uh, if you can direct your line of fire to uh, so that they're all coming at you in a single line, that's going to help tremendously. The AI on the biters really isn't that advanced. Um, they pretty much get aggro on you, and they just take the shortest route. So if the shortest route for all of them is going through the same general area, you're able to take out big groups of them with grenades or just point your rifle in the group of them and take them out. Or shotgun, if that's what you're into. Um, and once you've started to take out one of the spawning nests, you want to take that one out. Don't try to evenly take them out. Just take one out after another. And that's going to make your life a lot easier uh, just because it's one less fighter that's going to spawn every, every cycle. So it's... Uh, Pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple stuff, but it's, uh, I mean, it does take some doing, especially when you have a, a camp this big early on in the game. Normally, I wouldn't even attempt this, but because it was so close to where I was building, it was kind of a necessity, so. Um, yeah, and as you can see, I'm about halfway through the camp. I think, um, yeah, I'm about to die again here <laughs> shortly. If, I, if I'm not mistaken, um, and uh, yeah, pretty much have to more or less start from this point again, so 
Um, that bunker is a very good place to retreat to. Once you have laser turrets, that's even better, uh, just because you can actually extend the turret bunker out and uh, kind of go that way. Um, and actually, I've seen people use those turret bunkers to take out nests. Um, I guess I ha I've done that with worms, uh, just because worms are kind of a pain to take care of. But uh, yeah, for the most part, if you don't have worms in your base, it's fairly easy to take them out just by yourself. So. And we're getting closer to taking these guys out. Um, as you can see, because I'm taking out one spawner at a time, there's one less guy that I have to kill every cycle. So it's definitely beneficial to do it that way uh, and try not to run out of ammo, <laughs> as I just did. And uh, yeah, it, it definitely helps with, uh, with you focusing on the spawner camps and not having to fight off 20 different guys every single time. So um, at this point, I decided, you know, I probably have enough ammo built up. So I, I decided to reload my grenades, get more armor piercing rounds and just kind of finish them off because I was sick of how slow they were getting killed off by the uh, normal rounds. And of course that gave them a little bit of time to uh, to respawn there, but that, after you get past that first wave, it's really not that bad. So, and you can see there how much faster you, you cut through those with the other piercing rounds. I mean, it, it makes a huge difference. And uh, yeah, it's kind of ridiculous how much easier it is with the armor piercing rounds killing those guys. So. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. As I said, it's it's not really all that difficult. It just takes a little bit of time and patience if you're wanting to do it right. If you go charging in there, guns blazing, especially in one that that's this big, you're gonna get get your ass handed to you, uh, pretty much every time. So and nothing like, you know, picking out what technology in the middle of a battle. <laughs> But uh, maybe I'll just finish out this last spawner, uh, collect up the artifacts, and uh, yeah, the rest of the episode I'm just going to be prepping for uh, my oil refinery, which uh, I've decided to kind of make where I have my wall factory, um, if you remember where that is. I think there's plenty of room out there. Uh, as for right now, I just kind of want to make sure that all my factories are running as well as they can. Um, keep my research going, keep my weaponry going, and uh, yeah, most importantly, keeping my resources coming as I'm going to be feeding those to the uh, iron, or not to the oil production. So uh, yeah, just some boring but somewhat important prep work uh, should just keep some problems from happening and in the future so um yeah hopefully that will go relatively smoothly since i don't really have too many bad guys going um except for that small base to the left and that one further to the north so um other than that um yeah hopefully that will go smoothly next episode and until then take care